Hello guys. In this video today I'd like to show you how I take these brass threaded inserts that go to my Hypercube and I install them in my 3D printed parts. These are PETG parts, uh, Ziltec Blue PETG. And I just wanted to show you how I install them. That way when you put a bolt in and go to tighten them up it doesn't strip out the plastic. I'll wear a glove here for safety so I don't burn myself. Simply take your soldering iron with a small round tip on it that will fit inside of the brass insert. Very slowly apply pressure and it's just slowly going to sink down into the plastic. Once it's flush, we'll take it out. using this chisel here which is hard steel and cold and it will hold it flush and will cool it down real quick as you can see there's one came out great now you got to do it slow you don't want to push it in too far or too deep you just want to go you know right around flush maybe slightly above and then I'll use this chisel or any object you have that's flat and hard something a little better than a spatula and just press it in because it'll draw the heat out of it Put the next one on just put light pressure and I'm stopping right before it's flush And there we have two. Just hold it as straight as possible. You don't want to run it in crooked, then you won't be able to put the bolt in it. Three more to go.
and that's about it. Alrighty, those are all done. And for those of you guys that are thinking, wow, that was pretty cool, but, but since you heated that up and melted that plastic, that plastic had to go somewhere and it's just going to block your block the threads. It's going to block that hole where you got to put the bolt in. Well, you're absolutely right, it did. So to solve that problem, went and got my drill. I got a very small drill bit that would fit inside the threads, a lot smaller than the threads. I drilled it out multiple times very carefully. And I took a real small Allen wrench and I ran an Allen wrench down through there back and forth both directions to get that excess plastic out of there. Then I took one of the bolts that I'm going to be using for it. I ran that in on the thread side all the way through to push out any tiny bits of uh, plastic that was in the way. Got that out of the way. And then I was able to, to take, you know, take the bolt out and put it in the correct side. So it was a little bit of extra work. I did get it done. If these uh, inserts would have been much larger, there is another alternative. You can put the bolt uh, all the way through the, the, the brass fitting, or most of the way through it, and then you can heat it up with a soldering gun. When that gets hot, you can still press it in that way. And you're thinking, okay, cool, now the threads are already, in, or, or your bolt's already in there. It is, but you're still going to have that melted plastic that's going to get all of the threads. You might not be able to get that bolt out. So, or I don't have enough hands to work with. And if I don't have enough, and, and in that case, I, well, something else I could have done, I could have got this little portable vise. I could have mounted the part in the vise. That way, when I took my glove and I held the bolt with one hand, soldering gun with the other hand, I could have heated that up. And yes, that would have worked that way. But then that melted plastic would have been all over the bolt, and I'd have to try to get it out. And if you know anything about these little bolts that come in these little kits that take an Allen wrench, they strip out very easy. So you'd have to take a pair of vice grips and try to get it loose and hope you didn't you hope hope that you didn't break it off. So to me, I felt the easiest way was to do it the way I did, and then clear to clear the hole after the fact. But they all worked out fine. Like I say, it was a little bit extra work. I worked on all of them for about an hour, taking the drill, running it through each one of them, clearing out the excess plastic. But for me, it worked out great. And I hope that you guys liked this video. Maybe you learned something here, and maybe you didn't, or it's just entertaining. You're just like, wow, he was funny to watch. Or, you know, anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. And these parts are going in my Hypercube Evolution that I bought the kit from Ziltech here in the U.S. And, you know, I'll try to come out with more great content. So, thank you for watching, everybody, and happy printing.